Good morning, everyone. Uh, so I am Ganika, a child psychologist and school counselor. Today we have with us an educationist, an administrator, and a resource person, Mrs. Rajwinder Pal. Thank you so much for being here, ma'am. How are you? I am good, Ganika. Thank you. Pleasure. Uh, so, ma'am, recently I attended a counselor summit in Gurgaon, and counselors from all over India were there, and we were all really concerned about child men mental health. So we were talking about how tired, how anxious our kids are feeling these days. Mm -hmm. And from there, a term came up into light was hurried child syndrome. Mm -hmm. So ma'am, what are your views about that? Yeah, that's, that is what even I have also read in an article. It's a very new term at present. And I believe many are suffering. True. Maybe parents, they are not aware of this terminology. But once we will talk about it and once we will discuss the symptoms, they'll be able to correlate that, yes, maybe their child also needs some relief from that uh, syndrome. So hurried child syndrome is that where children, they are pushed actually mm -hmm. to perform academically. And even in their co-curricular activities, also parents and teachers and society, they expect that they should excel. So as a result, what is happening that the child is losing that childhood, True. right? Mm -hmm. The child is not able to play. Mm -hmm. There is no free play. Yes. There is a set schedule. Mm -hmm. So one after the other, the child is going and performing. Mm -hmm. So where is that free play? And as a result, that child feels overwhelmed True. to perform, right? Mm -hmm. And then it is leading to that burnout, stress. Mm -hmm that uh, anxiety and in worst scenario it is leading to depression as well yes. because that expectation is there that I have to perform good mm. I have to perform good it's a lot of pressure it is and that is mm. what it is called uh, that hurried child syndrome uh, even I see a lot of cases in my everyday routine also ma'am that the kids are coming to me that ma'am we really get tired mm -hmm. and I see that there is no connection between no connecting time mm -hmm. between the parent and the child. Mm -hmm. Now the quality time is just the parent picking and dropping the child from one thing to yes. another. Yes, yes. Right. They sometimes even uh, parents they treat them as mini adults. Right, that mm. this is what your schedule is, and this mm. is how you have to just keep on going. Yes. They have forgotten that the child is still a child, mm. Mm. right? Mm. So, that is, I believe, we all need to just give a thought to it yes. that are we doing justice to them? Mm. I think because of the demands of the society and the pressure of that peer pressure thing, we are. Uh, trying to make our kids the child prodigies in different fields. <laughs> very true, very yeah. true. I, so that is again a matter of concern for us. So ma'am, you have very well defined the hurried child syndrome. What strategies can you uh, share with all of us to identify this problem with our kids? Mm -hmm. So before we uh, talk about the strategies, I believe we even uh, need to just bring it into their notice that what the symptoms are. Right. right. So symptoms like when you observe as parent and uh, like teach, we teachers also can see that in the school, that when child gets agitated quite often, mm. right, they complain of stomach ache, mm. headache, mm. there is sleeplessness, yes. right, anxiety is there mm. and uh, even lack of concentration. Mm. So that means somewhere child is disturbed. It's maybe uh, mentally or in their behavior also, you can observe and that clearly indicates the child is going through something and needs mm -hmm. some help. And talking about some strategies, like uh, you can have supportive atmosphere back home. Mm -hmm. You know what, if you put yourself in their situation, you can very well correlate that when we are having some stress, we always look for an outlet mm -hmm. and we look for a person to whom we can just share our heart. Oh, yes. Same goes with the child. They mm -hmm. also look for parents that where they believe that once they will go and speak to their parents, they are not judging them. Right? Non judgmental. Yes, it has yeah. to be your parenting needs to be non judgmental. Yes. Right? There has mm -hmm. to be understanding that, okay, if child is not performing well, instead of just expecting why not work on root cause True. that where is the hassle True. right so these strategies where you are giving a supportive environment 
there were no uh, expectations in this manner that this is the benchmark which needs to be achieved by you right so no i believe conditions. yes no conditions and flexibility is there mm. so i believe child will be relaxed and will be able to excel and perform better right uh, ma'am i also read some of the studies in which they said that it is important for a child to get bored also yeah once they are bored because what we are doing is engaging them in one after another thing school tuition activities we are just trying to engage their mind hmm. and they have no time to get bored because of which they are just tightly bound mm -hmm. there is nothing no free play no like free play. no say. free play exactly exactly uh, so since ma'am we talked about the hurried child syndrome and their anxiety and their run after the, being the best there is another aspect to it i think that uh, while making our kids best in everything mm -hmm. we are losing somewhere the core aspect the core values of their mm -hmm. personality mm -hmm. what do you think very true very true see what i believe that uh, these life skills they are wind beneath the wings of success yes. these core values they are very very important mm. right the discipline true. it's a talent true. right true. being punctual is a talent yes managing your emotions mm. is a talent right true. patience in today's era it's a talent mm. managing your life mm. is a talent and these skills we need to again imbibe in our children along with of course the other the mm. co curricular and academic right. because ultimately the child needs to have this holistic development mm. where along with academics along with the life skills the child is able to cope up with each and every challenges which are there in their life right so they i believe they are very very important and we as adults need to set an example yes by contributing mm. as we were discussing yes. right parent they themselves also need to be patient mm. be punctual being disciplined Yes. that is what i all want to say right uh, ma'am you have used a very right terminology for this that being on time and the life skills these core values are a talent mm -hmm. so that is something really true because even we need to learn that talent yes. learn the life skills bring them back into the life only then the wind beneath the wings yes of <laughs> that will be applicable right thank right. you vanika thank you so much ma'am for sharing your views and i hope i believe that this conversation will be really helpful for all of us for making our kids a better human being and a happier generation absolutely for the i believe together we'll be able to groom our children for better citizens thank, thank you, you.